I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Emperor and it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now, when you get the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about when this card appears in a reading. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration. Maintain your focus. Yeah, the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Yeah, so you're probably saying, well, what does that mean? Well, it basically means that the emperor is a type of person that only uses their head. They don't use their heart, just their head. So you, you find it easier to make decisions, to make her hard choices. Now, it's with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can point to a time when you could start to feel less than secure, or maybe life is feeling that way. But the important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So you may feel alone, but just know you have the capacity you have the capacity to change that. So, like I said, you could feel like you're being left out in the cold. In the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize, this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is, if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, the Emperor, clarified by this Five of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting, uh, Gemini, this recent past energy here, um, you... You left someone, you left your person out in the cold. Or you made them feel that way. And you, you kind of shut down on them. You, you no longer opened up your heart. You no longer opened up your heart to them. So they started to feel less than secure about the connection. And they just felt, they just felt um, like you were leaving them out. In the cold, they felt like they were suffering. Yeah, and like I said, the emperor will go cold on, on a person and will not open up their heart. The emperor can be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. Um, this emperor does not want to come, come across as being vulnerable. So that's why I said that... Um, you decided you no longer wanted to open up your heart to this person. And they felt it. And yeah, they felt left out in the cold by you. And they just they didn't feel like it was a secure connection anymore. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Four of Cups and it's with the Eight of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups 
it is actually a card that can be about wishful thinking. It does warn us to remember to pay attention to what is now, to count your many blessings that we each currently experience, and not to worry, not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have, so be sure you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. And I say this because a lot of life actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So coming up, Gemini, Four of Cups, clarified by this Eight of Cups. Yeah, so what I'm, what I'm getting here for some of you, like I said, your person, they feel left out by you. They don't feel that there's no security in this connection at all anymore. You shut down on them. You shut down on them and you're not, you're not showing any type of warmth or affection. Just very cold type of energy with this emperor. Um, but coming up because the four of cups is saying that they're walking away. No, the eight of cups is saying they're walking away. But it's with the four of cups. Yeah, they're feeling... They're feeling rejected. And they're feeling unloved by you. And uh, for um, uh, some of you, your person is feeling... Um, devalued, because the Four of Cups can be, can be about feeling devalued, unloved, uh, rejected, yeah, so it looks like with the Eight of Cups being clarified by this, that they're walking away, because Eight of Cups can be about walking away and leaving it behind, so your, your person is moving on, yeah, so let's see what the challenge is, we got the Hierophant, Ends with the Five of Swords. Now, the Hierophant, with this, one, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters. Their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So, this could be you or someone coming towards you. Or... Someone that you know, this person would be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Yeah, the Hierophant, yeah, they are the genuine article. A true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. And they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, it's with this Five of Swords. Yeah, the Five of Swords, with this card, you could have, well, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings, maybe about life, or a person, or a few people in particular, but don't ignore these feelings, but also don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either, because this could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. When you get the Five of Swords, you have to make sure you pick your battles. So, the challenge is, um, with the Hierophant clarified by the Five of Swords, it's showing that, yes, like I said, your person, well, the Five of Swords can be about being mad and angry. Because if you take a look at the picture of the Five of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge, this man, he's, he's walking or running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire 
that's in front of them, it, that's in front of him. But when they got a glimpse or they saw him coming, they all ran. So yet, somebody's angry. This could be you or your person. Yeah. What they're, what I'm getting is that what they're angry the most about, because the hierophant is here, is that somebody, you or your person, didn't keep it real. Somebody did not keep it real. Because the hierophant keeps it real. Like I said, they walk the walk, talk the talk. There's, there's, um, honesty, loyalty. Uh, the hierophant can be about mora having morals, morality, um, being ethical, traditional. Your person or you feel like you didn't get any of any of that from them, or you just started to not be true to the connection. You could be feeling this way about them, or they could be feeling this way about you, but. It's leaving you or your person really angry. Yeah, somebody's very pissed. Yeah, thinking that somebody didn't keep it real, that's how. Um, or somebody just started to be that way. Maybe um, you kept it real in the beginning, but down the line they felt like you didn't keep it real. Or you could be feeling this way about them. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Ace of Swords. And so the Two of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords can indicate new beginnings of some sort in your life. Could be on several fronts. Just know that sometimes the new beginning, it gets started. It will get started does get started by a separation of some kind, maybe from a relationship, from a job, or maybe even a situation. But just know that, know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you need to be or where you want to go. Now, it's with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's, a, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business, or a personal. However, you're going to need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship or connection, and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this will require open communication. So the outcome, Gemini, Ace of Swords, clarified by this Two of Swords. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty messy. Like I said, they're walking away. Well, it looks like the recent past energy is showing that you shut down. You started not. You started closing your heart to this person. They felt left out and less insecure. And you no longer became um, emotionally available. Um, they they're walk they walk they're coming up it looks like they're walking away. They feel devalued and unloved, rejected by you. Um they're mad or you're mad. Someone in this connection is with the higher fit here showing that somebody didn't keep it real. Or someone had a hard time keeping it real and um being true. Honest, loyal, and sincere. And uh, the outcome with this Ace of Swords here, 
Um, it looks like you, Janai, you could be deciding it's just time for a new beginning. So you realize you need to cut this out completely. Yeah. You see, they, they're moving on. And you're realizing you need to just cut it out too. And go towards a new beginning. So, you might decide to block or avoid this person. Or they could be somebody deciding to block and avoid. If you try to reach out, you probably realize that you're being blocked. Or if you saw them on the street, you'll probably find them trying to avoid you. Or... This could go the other way around. You might decide to block and avoid them, but somebody's blocking and avoiding. This could be you or them, but I don't, I'm not showing that there's going to be a need for it because it's showing that they're, they're walking away. They're moving on, and you, you're ready to just cut out everything and go towards a new beginning. So, this, let me just give you a side note. The Two of Swords, a lot of times in the picture of the Two of Swords, it's the card below the word outcome. The lady, she's used, in a lot of the other decks, she's wearing a blindfold. So, the blindfold is indicator that, that um, you're ignoring the warning signs. So, you or your person could um, be thinking or feeling like you wish you had a never ignored the warning signs and that this should have been cut out a long time ago. So you could be feeling this way or your person can be feeling that, that way. I, heck, I pick, I'm getting a couple of downloads here, more than just one storyline. So I had to throw that in there. So yeah, this could be how they're feeling or you're feeling. Someone could be thinking that they wish they had a never ignore the warning signs. Yeah, if they're not if they're not blocking you or you're not blocking them, you're wishing you never ignore the warning signs. And you're just cutting it out. And you're going towards a new beginning. So, Gemini, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, for the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings. For however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope 2021 is going well for you. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care.